Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Scorpios who are watching. So if you have Scorpio as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Scorpio, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and begin, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign Scorpio, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. Also Scorpio, please keep in mind that any energy, feelings, emotions, actions that I do describe from your person, that could be how you feel, the roles could be reversed here, just however this reading resonates for you, please only take what resonates out of this reading Scorpio. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Can we please receive a few messages for my Scorpios, please? What energy is Scorpio currently dealing with between them and their person, please? How does this person truly feel towards Scorpio? Okay, Scorpio. So we have two messages that came out here. Let's go ahead and take this message, but I will read this as an extra and apply it within your reading if necessary. It says, let me remind you how much I love you. I don't want you to forget. So I'll refer back to that message and keep that in mind. Let's see what else we need to know, please, for my Scorpios. What's on this person's mind, please, when it comes to Scorpio? All right, let's go ahead and reshuffle. Okay, we have our next card. One more card, please. And we have that message. Okay, Scorpio, so let's go ahead and get started. So first message we do have is I can't give you the love you truly deserve. Don't let your beauty go to waste for me or for anyone. I don't want to feel controlled. I love you with all my heart. I'm tired of keeping it cool. My feelings are much louder than that. And your carelessness will cost you if you're not careful with me. So Scorpio, I feel like this is someone you're dealing with. Could be a person from the past, also recent past. But I feel like you have gave this person space Scorpio because you know what you bring to the table here and you know how to show your interest show your care towards this person and communicate on an appropriate level and by appropriate I mean like something that is satisfactory something that leaves this person not guessing you not playing games or even if you don't consider it playing games, you're not about to go ghost for no reason. Or even if you don't feel like talking for whatever reason, I feel like you wouldn't just leave this in silence because this person is also involved here. So it's like you have gave this person space if they need time to sort their feelings, their emotions out or, prompt, or not promptly, but tell you what, what and how they really feel about this. But I feel like too much time has gone on to make you feel com comfortable within this connection. And with this I don't want to feel controlled card, I feel like this is a mutual energy. But for you, Scorpio, you're not trying to be tied up in a connection that is foggy or there's no clarification. Chasing this person, constantly asking for reassurance here. You don't want that type of restraint placed on you while dealing with this person. I feel like this person's actions may have showed you, Scorpio, that although you're not trying to control them in any way, it's like they're still being free with their energy when it comes to dealing with you. And of course, we should all be free, but it's like they're treating this connection loosely. So that 
may apply to you, Scorpio, as far as you're not trying to be held up or stopped while being in this connection. And with them, it's like they're not trying to take on responsibility of involving someone close in their life. We have, I love you with all my heart. I feel like this is your energy, Scorpio. And it could be that your feelings haven't amounted to this yet, but I feel like you were starting to give more and more of your time, your space, your energy towards this person because you had that interest in them. And with you, Scorpio, I also feel like it's all or nothing with you. Like, I make time for the people I love, the people I like, and that's just not something to throw away here. So we have this message as well. Your carelessness will cost you if you're not careful with me. Your energy, Scorpio, you're not going back and forth. You're not playing games here. And you're also not trying to self-sabotage or disrespect yourself in any way by accepting something that isn't fit for you. So this person, it's like, if you want me, then make it known. Also, do what is needed in order to keep and capture my interest and attention. All right, we have, let's, let's get into don't let your beauty go to waste for me or for anyone. So I feel like this is for you, Scorpio, not just pertaining to this reading, but in general. And I feel like this is something that you've contemplated or thought about, like, I'm doing all of this for you to treat me like that. I'm not about to do that anymore to myself, especially if you have felt disrespected or felt like you've been put on the back burner or this person doesn't care as much as you do. So this is a personal message for you, Scorpio. We have, I can't give you the love you truly deserve. I feel like this is this person's energy. And of course, only take what resonates, especially the feelings that I'm describing here. But you may have felt like you're not being matched correctly or it's not equal here. And we also have, I'm tired of keeping it cool. My feelings are much louder than that. So we'll know more with the cards next to come. But I do feel like this is your energy, Scorpio. You're tired of keeping it cool in the sense that you've gave this time, nothing's happening. And also, you may feel like you're still involved here and there's still silence. So it's like, what are we really doing here? So I could make up my mind, or you may have already had your mind made up, Scorpio. If this person doesn't show me this, or it's been so long, I have yet to see this from this person. So it's like outweighing your options here. But I feel like for you, Scorpio, you may be checked out or starting to be checked out from this. All right, let's go ahead and receive a few more messages, please, for my Scorpio. Scorpios, what's next to come in regards to this energy that they're dealing with currently? All right, one moment, please, Scorpio. Okay. All right, what else do we need to know here, please? All right, we have another message. Let's see what we have. Two messages came out. Let's take from the bottom, but I will read this as an extra. There's no one else like you. Your energy is irreplaceable. All right, two more messages, please, from my Scorpios. Okay, so Scorpio, we have our last few messages. First message, us taking it slow. Is this good or bad? I do apologize for any background noise if you are able to hear that. I feel a lot about you. I just need time to catch up. There were some things I needed to get right before I could be ready for you. And I see right through you. So Scorpio, I feel like you are distancing yourself from this person because you deserve for your love to be matched and nothing less than that. And even if this person is making their way towards the person they want to be, it's like provide me some communication or some clarity. Don't just shut this out and act like it didn't happen or it's not happening it's like that's unacceptable for you so we have us taking it slow is this good or bad i do feel like this is your energy scorpio is this headed somewhere great or not like is this just a temporary connection to you and this is also your energy while like giving this person space and time here so us taking it slow is this good or bad Let's get into this person's energy. I feel a lot about you. I just need time to catch up. 
and I'm going to combine it with there were some things I needed to get right before I could be ready for you. So I feel like this person is stalling because they may feel as though they don't have everything they need for themselves in order to provide to you. Of course, it could be much more deeper than that, Scorpio, and you would have better insight than I do. But for some of my Scorpios, it could also be an option or a matter of this person sorting out who is for them or how they feel. But at the same time, it's like you when you know, you know, when you feel that connection or you want something more with a person in time, then you shouldn't be treated like an option. So. We have those two messages, and then we also have I see right through you. For some of my Scorpios, this person may have already exposed their true colors, or even during this whole process, you've been able to see all you need to know moving forward, and that's why you decided to separate your energy. All right, Scorpio, last but not least, let's see what sign you may be dealing with here. The first sign we do have is Virgo. We also have Libra, Virgo, Libra, one more time please for my Scorpios, and that is Aquarius. Of course, Scorpio, you may be dealing with any sign, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.